Hi guys, we're here at Werribee Gorge today, a little bit of wind and battling the flies. We're about to do a fit for the Yukon 50 onto Dean here, just to demonstrate the proper form for fitting a backpack. So Dean, um, we've loosened off all the straps here, so if we just get you to slip into that. Give them a hand into it. What we need to do, Dean, is to secure that waist belt on your hip bone. So your hip bone should be placed in the notch that's on the inside of that belt and pulled nice and tight. If that's secured correctly on your hip bone, you should be able to release that weight and actually support the pack more or less on your hips. Shoulder straps are just there to help place that weight correctly. Once that's secured on your hips, next thing we need to do is pull down your shoulder straps. Okay, the key things we're looking for here, guys, is the way that the pack curves in the shoulder here. All right. We need these top tensioners the points here to be just on above the collarbone and the top tensioners to need to be sitting about 30 degrees when pulled tight. If you could pull those tight for us please Dean. Thank you. So in this case with the way that it's currently fitting I think we've got the right length for Dean's back but we may need to go to the tensioners up or above. Alright guys so we've now gone and placed the top tensioners in their higher position and we're ready to continue on with the pack so Dean if you could just pull those shoulder straps down again, bring them nice and secure and have a good connection through the back. Turn around for me a little bit there, please, thing. Thank you. So what we want is the sterner, the top tensioners here to be pulled forward. Again, with a rested position of 30 degrees, starting at just above the collarbone and coming up to these higher points. 30 degrees is ultimately what we're looking for and a good fit. Next thing we want to do is just double check that the weight's distributed properly. The easiest way to do this is to, Dean, if you just lift your arms, we're making sure that we don't strum this too much. Okay, we're looking to make sure that the weight is not resting so much on the shoulders, but you're in the waist belt. So that's a good fit. And then we're going to make sure that we do up our sternum clips. Sternum clips should be done up uh, at any point. They help the, uh, the harness system sit in its correct carrying position. Finally, you're just going to make sure that the weight is secured onto the hip belt. That's by pulling the two tensioning straps either side of the hip belt. Once it's all tightened up with the carrying system inside the Yukon, the weight's directed not onto the shoulders, but through the hips and into your legs. Dean, you're ready to go hiking. Keep going! <laughs>